Yeah, I'm missing Mwimbiaki. My calling is here with you. <laughs> at White Pepper on Facebook, at White Pepper channel on Twitter. Good morning. My name is Valentine or at Color Me Val. And the hashtag is Why in the Morning. I told you today is Queen's Wednesday, yes, but we are hosting a king. And he's king with a purpose. Mm, I'm quite excited. I hope you are as well. Hey, and it's gone all romantic again. But Manu, unajuanka tu kunfanyi vita mia birthday month. Mm? I see you. I see you very well. Well, mm -hmm. Mm. hashtag is why in the morning. Maybe we give the king a chance to introduce himself. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm ah, no, 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 no. All that energy I've used to introduce you, you're just going to give me like that. No, um, hmm. good morning. Mm. I'm Jeff. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, YouTuber for change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you have your paraphernalia with you. Yes, yes, home. yes, yes. Uh, this is my paraphernalia, as you call it. <laughs> yes, present for them. All right, so Jeff, if you did not know, has a, I want to call it a cause. Can I call it a cause? That yes. about present fatherhood and all these things. Yeah, 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 you can call it a cause, mm -hmm. yeah. Hence, present, uh, hence, YouTuber who changed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you have children with the thought of starting such content, or did it just happen? Like, oh, Sain hmm, what to do, what to do? Let's just put them on YouTube. Uh, well, um, <laughs> that is not something that I I'd thought about before. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, once I had kids, mm -hmm. there's a period that my wife was working and I had to stay home full time mm -hmm. as the dad. And uh, it is through that experience that I realized it is not easy to be, to be, to be a parent. Like mm -hmm. what, what women go through in terms of nurturing the baby mm -hmm. is a very difficult job. Eh? And uh, I thought, well, uh, how about, how about uh, I showcase this out there to, to know young guys and just tell them that it's, it's, it's possible to be in the life of your kid and nurture because it's something that can happen, you know, the woman can, can fall sick and you have to be there full time or they can, they also run away. <laughs> <laughs> and when they do, you'll be the one who will have to do it, mm -hmm. you know. So that's how uh, the YouTube came about. Was it voluntary? Like, did you sit down with your wife and say, okay, we're in a job, I love for many back here for some time. Let's do this. Is that, is that something you agreed on? Well, we got, we got, we realized that you're going to have a baby when we were in campus, mm -hmm. just when we were supposed to do our last exam. No, Kuruka, I'm so proud of you, Jeff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good job. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. So that is when we realized, and then we, we, we had to sit down and talk. Actually, we did the test together. Mm -hmm. Oh. On the, uh, I remember it was in, on, uh, in his, uh, on her hostel. Mm -hmm. Then we were like waiting, okay, how many? Oh. Two, 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 two lines. Mm -hmm. Then we decide, okay, we have to sit down and decide what are we going to do after this. Mm -hmm. But the good thing, we, don't, we didn't have jobs, but the good thing, she found a job mm -hmm. immediately after we cleared. Actually, she was called before we even cleared. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so somebody had to, to remain behind with the baby, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I was the one because I didn't have any, any job at the time. So that's how it, it, it began. You're saying it very lightly, but you, you're an African man. And I, in the years that I'm living and the way I'm seeing this life, there, there are some things maybe perhaps would not sit very well with an African man. I don't know. But there are some people I don't think would entertain the idea of being a stay-at-home dad. Absolutely, you're uh, right. Yeah, so you're why right. are you different? What's you're right, you're right. So actually, that is, actually, that is what inspired me to actually uh, film it and have it on YouTube so that other people can see that th times have changed. And uh, the time that, uh, that uh, women were, were at home are changing. Mm -hmm. You know, women are also, they have been empowered. That's why they go to school, they're educated, they're getting their masters, their PhDs. So I didn't find, I found it very, very... It doesn't make sense for a woman with all those things to be at home, seated, you know. And yet they can be out there earning even more than you are earning. So it is a matter of two people sitting down and talking and getting to understand that what do we have here, you mm. know. Um, let's put the cards on the table. What makes sense? So will it make sense for you to have your wife quit the, her job, which she is earning probably three times what you're earning, mm. so that you just feel like a man and you're out there at work? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, bills have to be paid. 
And if you put your ego in front of what the reality is, mm. then you lose the sense. But Mwanaume Street, the head of the family street, Bredwina Street, Okichwa Street, Nafaku submit all these things. Yes, that is true. But Mwanaume um, see, see, see what you bring. Mwanaume, in fact, in fact we are, we've got it wrong that, that um, submission can only be earned, submission from a woman can mm. only be earned through power and wealth. Apokwa wealth, Kwanza. Yes, mm -hmm. and yet it is, it is wrong. Submission should come naturally. Submission is like respect, it is earned, mm -hmm. you know, and the only way that it can earn, because if you, if, you, if you pin it to wealth and money, that can go away <laughs> any time. Mm. And it can go away in various, various ways. Maybe you can get an accident and you're unable to provide, mm. as, they, as they say. What will happen then? Then you lose your identity as, as a man, mm. so to speak. So um, you have to get it from a, uh, other areas. And that means, you know, getting involved in the family. Your purpose, once again, is present fatherhood. And yes. I should probably ask you questions about your children. But the way you're handling responsibilities as a father is amazing me. Thank you. Uh, there is a culture uh, in somewhere in the world where wanome, ukitoka nje may be pre-COVID, before we were told to, you know, physical distance and all these things. So, and for example, the couple have a baby. Ni mwanaume utamona mebeba mtoto. Hakuna, ati uende tu kidogo dogo, then you see some woman, then you know, you see ubeba, umeshkilea moja hapa, moja kwa isa idijine, then you're trying to cross the road. Iyo, that, the, for the first time, floored me. I've never seen something like that. Yes. And then to see you, an African, translating it to at home. But... How do we help our young boys, you know, not think of fatherhood as a burden? In a sound car punishment, boy, oh, it seems like a death sentence. Why was it different for you? How can we that help is, them? That is what angered me so much. That uh -huh. is what, uh, actually, when I grew up, my, my, my folks passed on when I was uh, 12. Oh, I'm sorry. And then my, my aunt took me in. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, really, if she's watching, I'm really grateful for that. So she's actually the one who trained me into into taking responsibility and you know doing this stuff that traditionally. Actually, the main aim of the YouTube channel also is to is to showcase men jumping into these traditionally uh, roles that were meant for 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 the for the, for the women, mm -hmm. and that is the major thing actually that I want to to showcase out there. And uh, because it, is really, it really doesn't make sense, because women are, are really overburdened. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can imagine a scenario where you are here, you're working, and maybe you have somebody that you're, that you're, you're dating or your, your husband, and then you have kids. Both of you are going to work. Then you arrive home, him is seated, yeah, you know, watching I mean TV. You <laughs> yes, and mm -hmm. you, you start another job. It doesn't just make sense mm -hmm. to me. You know, and that uh, I think it shouldn't make sense to anybody out there. Mm -hmm. So once you get home, it is it is actually you know when you are working and you are busy doing your your job, you are like a robot, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, you don't get time for each other. Mm -hmm. And this time that you are at home, when you are involved in the house shows, it can be a time for you actually to spend time together. Mm -hmm. You know, whether, whether it is cooking, you know, it, she doesn't have to cook any everything. Mm -hmm. You can cook something. You know, uh, there are other things that you can also do. And by the end of the day, you find that you are able to, to spend time together and, and, and um, help one another. As opposed to when, when he, she's the one who is doing everything, then at the end of the day, she still comes to bed and, you know, you still want Duty other things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it is too much and uh, that is what needs to change. Especially if you are to realize uh, equality and, and gender Oh, that is a dream. Kwanza Kenya, no, Africa, it, yes. is, it is a dream. But I want to break it down just a little bit further because oh, Nezapata, for example, I have heard ladies being classified as kuna wa ushago, kuna wa kuna atao. Watao, sasa undo kierere, wa o, kariyas, jui nini, 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 what? Sasa I hear those make very good side chicks because sasa wa ushago ndio wa, ndio wife. Ya najua kazi yake ni jikoni na hizo vitu. 
but maybe the problem is maybe responsibilities don't want to be taken. That is why we have yes. been split. Yes. <laughs> it has nothing to do with us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but maybe someone somewhere just does not want the responsibilities yes. of, of certain things. I really want you to paint a picture of fatherhood the way you see it. Because I can see you're so happy to be a dad. Yes. Have you seen his videos? He just gets excited. Yeah. Please help me translate that. At least boy child to moja, mali to ameka. Aki imagine yata kwa baba mtu baba nani doesn't have to mean like the end amechoma ama hadisa engage ni maji au sina pesa because when you started out as a parent you, you yes. were also in a rock or hard place type yes. of situation help yes. me paint a good picture well fatherhood is great that is what i can say fatherhood is amazing and um, first of all you have to accept once you get the news that you're going to be a father Depend, uh, it, it varies on circumstances. Like, for example, me, I got the news when I had nothing. Normally, you, it is expected that you're prepared, that you have, you have the finances sort out, mm -hmm. you know, you have accommodation and all those, uh, all those things. And many a times, those are the things that make people run, mm -hmm. run away when they hear that they are going to be a dad. Because this is a responsibility for life. Mm -hmm. But that is what also hit me that, oh my goodness, you know, there, there your wife is telling you that you've seen that it is a positive and you're wondering, well, now what does this mean? <laughs> when the reality sets in mm. and you're seeing that this is a responsibility for a long time. And you also have to a ask yourself, do you want to be the, in the life of this woman for the rest of your life? Plus again, you have no choice whether you are with her or not. Mm -hmm. you, your lives are already entangled. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is that me, I wanted to be with her for the rest, you know, for the Praise rest of God. the time. Mm -hmm. So um, what I can tell a boy child who is a uh, Kukua Buddha is, is a wonderful thing. You know, there's a time that I used to see uh, old guys back in the village where I was growing up. And they really used to give a lot of respect to somebody who is a dad. And I used to wonder, you know, when, when, when dads were seated and mm. there's somebody who is not a dad and he comes, he's told, you know, and, and the respect will increase according to the number of children you had. Mm -hmm. And I used not to understand it. Until I became one, mm -hmm. you know, and I realized, hey, this is actually a yeah. big deal. <laughs> 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 it is actually a big deal, and therefore, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And um, what I will tell a boy, um, a, a Jama out there is that, is that uh, uh, being a father is the most amazing stuff. And the reason why it is, is because as you watch your child grow, it tells you how much, how time moves. By the way, Mimi, tangu nimetoka, nimetoka campus na nini, I'm still the same person. Mm. When I meet my friends, we are still the same people. We still make the same jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but when I look at my kids, it's been now three years. They were like this, now they're yeah, talking. Yeah, they're, they're, they're talking and they're running around. I'm like, this is how much time has moved. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to watch, you know. And they grow. Mm -hmm. they, never, they never remain the same. You know, and mm. uh, in the next 10 years, I'll be seeing another different thing. Mm. And, and again, it also gives you an opportunity to, to instill whatever you want. Like, you know, children, they are your children. There's nobody who will come and try and tell you, do this, do that. Mm. You're the one who has the powers to, to program them, so to speak, the way you want. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful thing, you know. And also having somebody that looks up to you. <laughs> you know, that is the only thing that makes God, God. The fact mm -hmm. that we are able to, to you know, bow down and, 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 and worship. <laughs> and, and That is what makes him God. Mm -hmm. And you have the same, the same opportunity. Wow. Where somebody is just, at a couple of mess. At a copy too. Yeah, yeah, na bambika too, you know. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, and that's why many people regret later. Many people that run, that's why they regret. Because mm -hmm. they run thinking, they only think at the moment. They don't look at it long term. Mm -hmm. And once time has elapsed mm -hmm. and this person has turned out, because they, as, like I said, they don't remain the same and they have grown. That's when the person is like, wow, I wish I was here. Mm -hmm. Right now, m I'm not together with my, my, my family. Mm -hmm. The COVID happened and we were separated. They are back in Embu. Oh, that must be hard. It is. I'm sorry. It is very mm -hmm. hard. Thank you. It is very hard. But it has been two months Almost, I think almost three months right now. Mm. But the change that has happened, I feel like I've missed a lot. Oh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, the change that has happened. Uh, the younger one left when 
he was walking and you know walking with stuff you know touching touching stuff but right now he's so running he yeah he's <laughs> running and so that tells you how much i've missed oh i like the way that you measure time okay how do you relate to your children do you do you talk do you speak life into them am i your daughter too oh don't do this don't do this or do you tell them okay you're supposed to do this no it's good to do this oh daddy why do you do this oh i do this because of this and this is are you conversant with your children do you Talk to them as people, or may you talk to them as children? Like, how does it work? Uh, me, first of all, I think I want to be friends to my kids. I think my, my type of parenting, you know, that's actually it's good, it's good to, have, to have two, both parents raising the kids because mm. you are totally different people and you have different styles of, of parenting. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my wife is the, is the strict, strict type, you know, the, the ones who are by the book, mm -hmm. you know. It's either you do this this way, mm. and these are the consequences, or you do this this way. But for me, I'm, I'm more or less freestyle, you know, natural, raising kids in a natural way. So even if it is speaking like you're saying, mm. I speak to them like they're an adult. That's good. You know, mm. because, because um, this thing that you're a child and therefore you're just commanded around, and I, I've been having discussions with other dads, you know, and uh, we have a community of dads. And uh, we've been discussing something about how are we raised that we like to, to, to be different? What are the things that we like to be changed? Mm -hmm. And one of those things is how we were spoken to, you know? Mm -hmm. um, if, you're, if, you treat, if you treat a child like an adult and you're speaking, they, they, they feel valued, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead of, of course you have to break the, the language and how you speak to them at their level, you know, you can't speak to them more or less like uh, the language of an adult, mm -hmm. but you make them feel as if they are valued, you know, and that way they are able to build their confidence because confidence is what is key. That is what makes somebody survive out here. Mm. It's not the degree that you have. We have people who have degrees and first classes, but the confidence is just lacking. Mm -hmm. Somebody prepares for an interview for days. But once he arrives for that interview, he just doesn't know what to say. Kwanza kizungu, you left apotu kwa mlango. You start going to the interviewer. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's because of lack of confidence. And that thing starts from, from, from when they're young. Just affirming them. Affirming every time. And affirming happens by you making them feel valued. Mm -hmm. And how do you make them feel valued? By how you speak to them. You know, like sometimes there's these things called phones, mm -hmm. you know. Sometimes you're on your phone and... and and I, I see it with my kids sometimes. Mm -hmm. And and he's small, Maze. I wonder even how he's able to do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm on my phone and he comes and he wants my attention. So he's trying to speak and I'm trying to respond to him mm -hmm. as I'm looking at my phone. Mm -hmm. He actually grabs the phone ah. and puts it down. Daddy, I'm talking to you. Yes, <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> so that tells you that these are not little things that you think. Oh. You know, they are actually human beings that, uh, that, that um, uh, want to feel valued just as anybody else. Sata wewe ukiongeleshwa na na mtu kwa phone yake tu. You know, you don't feel... You don't feel the connect. Uh-uh, listen to me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we have established that God is good and only part of partner for life. Sindo? Yes. But what happens if, for example, again, I'm just going to just name a random boy child out there. Boy child, kapata member nam two. Maybe they didn't really want to spend the rest of their lives with. How how does how can they be the best dad they can be without necessarily causing strain in the relationship? Because maybe at a kana mamaki, ama walika wakadzaribu waikweza. So for whatever reason or for whatever circumstance, they're separated. But how can he continue being the best without being called a deadbeat? No, Joe, I stand up here to wakikasirika. Kikasirika ni mdomo tu. Just talk, 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 as if the guy has never done anything for you. One mistake, deadbeat, deadbeat, no, 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 no. But how can the father remain present in the child's life? I think, first of all, the, the people that can play a major role when you're on idea sana are the women. Mm -hmm. The fact that Tumekosana away and things cannot work does not, does not mean that all is lost. Mm. <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, we, normally, we normally bring the relationship that we had, the two of us, and spill it over to, to the children. Mm -hmm. And yet the children are innocent. Them to you, uh, you and him, your daddy and mommy. 
There's nothing else. They don't know that you guys mulikosana. Mm -hmm. So there is where it starts. When mekosana and women, this goes to women. We, women can really support us in terms of being present. Mm -hmm. For us to be present, women have to really support. Mm -hmm. For example, just before I answer the question, for example, you find that, uh, like, I bathe my baby. You know, I used to bathe my baby, I used to massage. If you watch the video, uh, you, you will see all those stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, this can only happen when the women give us the chance, the opportunity. You know, you are you know, they are just too protective. You know, it mm -hmm. also takes them to be, to be open and just give you the opportunity, like, a trust to. Like unaza part unaza samati unaza tambia your wife that we enda we enda mean to back inam to me I'm in charge mm -hmm. but they just still worried you know uta pigiwa masimu kama mara mia you know okay sijaza but wali mtoa kwa tumbo so exactly 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 <laughs> so that is what I will urge them let, mm. let let them be free let them trust that this is the father the father wants the best for the kid mm. the the same way you feel for that child is the same way the father feels for him or for her. Mm -hmm. So give them the opportunity and trust them. And because as opposed to you people, you, you, you get attached immediately, you know, the child is conceived and you carry them for nine months. Mm -hmm. By the time you give, we Oh, you, you need time, Aki. Us, we oh. need to start from that time that you're pregnant. Uh, we need to work oh. with you to the clinics th so that we get connected. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 by the time I Aliwa, we attached. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, now you'll get me excited about this phase of my life. Nili kwa nogopa, ogopa ni kionea itain, but I like how you're talking, my friend. I Thank you. So, so if it happens that you are not together, just talk. I've msao problems enyu. Mseme, okay, uh, as we did not work, that happens. You know, shit happens. It's okay. Uh, but we have kids. You know, do you want to be in the life of this kid? And when the answer is yes, I want to be in the life, how do we make it work? You know that you'll soon maybe you'll be in another relationship, I'll be in another relationship. How do you make, make these things work? How do we make sure that you as a father, you are present? And you know, many a times, my demo and the younger present in a manisha to do. Tuongeze volume mama mko sawa. Si ati ni pesa peke yake. Wits geza. Aha. Tell them. Mhm. You know, sa machine dokomana hata mabeo maboy wana run. Sa zote tu akiona simu yako anajua tu sasa ni pesa anaitishwa. You know? Ni pesa tu anaitishwa, ni pesa tu anaitishwa mpaka sana anaona hizo simu zako anazilenga. You know? And also seasons differ. Maybe your time ulianza kumpigenga simu alikuwa hustle mzuri. Ana natuma tuma na tuma tuma. Then hustle ka Ikaenda, ikaenda vibaya. COVID. Yeah, ikaenda vibaya. So, mm. we bado tu nakol, anawanaizo simu zaka, anajua ni pesa, anakosa kupik, o na unauja, mama mecharu? Ajaruka. Kwanza unendaka umeambia wa mama upload the first Water. thing. Water. Ehe. Oh. Umesha mblo? Umesha oh. mblo kwa okay. life ya kidi yaki. So, unafakujua kuwa, being present is not just about money. It's about a lot of things because kids need, need that psychological support, emotional support. So, how often will this father will be visiting. Atakuwa na chukua mtutu wake, wanaenda ku, wanaenda out, wanaenda kutembea, ma, anakuwa na for the weekend, such things. You know, we have celebrities like, like uh, Shafiweru, people are doing, he's uh, a very present yeah, father. Yeah, mm. who are doing co-parenting and it's working perfectly. Mm. We have amazing, another amazing dad, Ted Josiah, mm -hmm. who we, we all know his story, who has been raising the daughter for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And those are just a few examples that shows you that what the role that a, uh, you know a father can play in the life of mm -hmm. their, their children that, that's very way okay okay <laughs> about to 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 you reverse to kidogo mali tukua tunaongelea elders and and how you know in a traditional african home or at least how i have seen it yes being lived daddy seem to kuongelea that story yes daddy kwanza kazi yake ni kuingia usiku but curfew mm. anyway anaingia usiku afungua gazeti anasoma anasoma mm. anasoma mm. asubuhi anatoka mbele yako kabla tu amke uende shule ashatoka yes. ama wewe utoke mbele yake but is the way mnakutana tu for 5 minutes maybe time ya kukula yako ya kwenda kulala na yake ya kuingia sasa kwa nyumba yes. and and hata boy child wengine wenye mmongea nao be like eh hey, daddy kazi yake ni unamuitisha pesa Yes. Now, na ni kumpanga si ati kumuitisha tu. That is when to me to cut 20k, ndio at least uh, uh, to me 10. Yes. Uh, Ukuwa nataka yoyote, but 
Yeah, so dads have never really been bro rada. Aki u dema na nisumbua. Aki u nani ameshika mimba. What do I do? They've been more of, eh, hey, sir, how are you, sir? And if he becomes a father right now suddenly, how can we convince him there's a different way? Asha zoe ivo, sindo? Asha zoe ati... Yeah, yeah. But in fact, yeah, talk what? At anongelesha mtuto kimambia nini na bakia kumbuki ya kimongelesha. Mm. How how can you? How can we ask them to adopt something that they've never experienced? There's something that I always say mm -hmm. many a times, and it's about intentionality, mm. being intentional. Mm -hmm. You know, there mm -hmm. are things that we were not raised. Even me, there are things that like I grew up with my aunt. There was no dad. There was no father figure in my life. But there are things that I had to be intentional in terms of seeking. And that takes me to another point of information. Mm -hmm. You know, men, men, we don't, we don't seek information in terms of how, what is, how do we, do, do you dad? Not everybody is born knowing some certain things. And we always rely on copy-pasting. Iyo ni kukopi-paste vilo nasema that ali lana, kiona hivi, baba ni hivi. But did you like it that way? That is another thing. That is what you should ask yourself. Do you like that baba kutu ni wakulizwa tu do? You know? There's more that you always wanted. You wanted to sit with this dama akwebeshita kumbongi mchape story, you know, but that did not happen. So, copy pasting that. Are you doing this? You are just doing the same thing, and that's why we end up with generational stuff, you know, stuff that do not end, you know, and you can you are, you are the one who can end it mm -hmm. by seeking information and asking yourself what type of dad do I want to be, you know, mm -hmm. what type of dad. Uh, uh, it it helps when you you plan that before, mm -hmm. you know. But again, kuna zile situations like you're saying, zime kushitua tu, and umejipala tuwe ni daddy. But at that point, ukisha absorb your shock, unajuliza, what type of dad do I want to be? Then you ask yourself, what, uh, what dad did I have? What are the things that I liked, that I would like to maintain? Then what are the things that I didn't like, that I would like to change? How do I change them? I seek for information. Google is my friend. You know, you Google, you, you ask people that have, have been better dads, and what have they been doing? And then that is what you now take and you use. Mm -hmm. But we don't seek information. I don't have tangy information out there as, 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 as fathers. I'm, I'm not a guy, but is it because perhaps Nona already could have a person enough? It's like anything else that you're being asked for is too much. It's over. I already made a person, already made a clinic, already made a person. What else do you want from me? Is it possibly? Those things, those, you should ask yourself, if I didn't do those things, Will the world, will, 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 um, as a father, unafaa kuwa ule buda mwenye, mwenye, na yu ndo kitu kila mtoto anazataka. And this is for black fathers, mm -hmm. you know, African fathers, black fathers around the world. Mm -hmm. We need to, to, to be friends to, with our kids. And that means that they need, you need to teach them your hustle. Kama for example, kuna, kuna hapa kuna maproducer, kuna cameraman, na yu ndo job, hustle yako. Mm -hmm. You should be proud to the extent that you teach your kid that stuff. Mm, you know, Ata kama ni hapa job umemleta. Oh. You know, once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, so that they grow in it. If you look at, uh, you know, my rich guys, they train their kids into what they do. You know, so mm -hmm. that, because they wanajua hata hawa kwa hapo for, for a while. Na wakimaliza, the kid will be the one who will take over. And how, you know, since, mm. <laughs> since we were growing up and ujua ata budaka na vanyaka kazi gani? Eh, kazi yaki tu beba gazeti na kubaa suti. Ujua angi. Uo na juanga tu dadia lenda job? Job. Job. Haso leake utambui. Utambui kabisa. Then all of a sudden, ukisha fika 18, umefika 21, you are expected to start hustling yourself. As if there was a manual. Yes. Mm -hmm. You didn't even, you didn't even learn it. Yeah, kumbe. You are suffering in silence. You know, mm -hmm. you didn't even learn it. But all of a sudden, that's why expect you to be independent. Then what I say, umezeka, unafanya nini kwa hii umba? You know, you are 21, you are 25, you are 20, unafanya nini, mm -hmm. endo hustle. Mm -hmm. Na haku kufundisha hata hiyo kuhustle. Mm -hmm. That is where it starts. And you become friends, you treat them as equals. Watoka naye munaenda hustle. 
na kuja hapa anaona naona vile studio inafanya kazi nini 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 wengine budako anafanyanga airport sije budako anafanyanga na wewe hujai kanyaga hizo ma airport <laughs> It is a disservice to your oh. child. Unaisikilia tu hewani. Yes. Kuna wengine hata mabuda wafanyaji kazi huko na wameshaenda huko. You know. So that is and and what it will do to that kid is amazing. Sadila amekuja pale budaki anafanya kazi. Umeshaona mtu hii mwenye budaki hata anaenda shanga lori. Alafu huo budaki amekuja na hiyo lori mtaa ameipaka hapo. Mtu yako proud. Kwanza unaambia kila mtu ni daddy. Eh gari ya eh gari ya baba yangu. You know? The kid is happy. <laughs> There's some people who never understand some things like you. <laughs> There's some people. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so if you bring them to your work, you know, show, show them your asshole, teach them, they get interest. Mm. And once they get interest, they will want to be better. Pingine wewe unazadhani wewe ni mnoma saya atataka ku impress you. Your child is always wants to impress you. So ataenda afanye research nini nini. Akuja na kitu kingine hata wewe mwenyewe unajipata yeye ndio sana kufundisha, you know. Because they are already ahead of us. Na wako smart. You know and uh, their affinity to absorb information is also very high. So you might be surprised that atajua vitu zenye wewe hata bado hujajua, you know. Okay, maybe <laughs> I want to say last, final, last, second, last, third, last question, but ee, 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 inashika. At Word 54 Facebook, at Word 54 channel on Twitter, hashtag is why in the morning. How do we take the shame away from being a father? Sana, sana, unplanned father. How, how do we, what do we tell the boy child? Akai tu ajiem, ajite mkutano, meeting tu wakiwa tupeke yake, him, himself, and me, myself, and I, sasa, that one. So, how... Can we encourage them to be okay or be proud of having a child? Again, it could be of various circumstances. Maybe, maybe mm. whatever happened, but it's happened. And instead of being proud, you know, like the way you are, instead they're feeling shame. And they kind of want to feel proud, but they don't know how to get over the shame. Mm. So how, how do we fight that? That sounds like a, a deep battle. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it is a deep battle. And uh, it's good that you've brought it up. And uh, the way they can they can tackle this is um, uh, what we call support system. Support system is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, having people that are like-minded, and people who are like-minded will bring positivity into your life and into your fatherhood. You know, umesha ikuwa na wale watu wenye watu wenye mabeshito wako wenye unaambia unaenda kukua father mm. and all they, they keep on saying hey manze, wuhu umesha jichomea manze <laughs> meharibu ayyei umesha jichomea <laughs> oh. sasa, sasa kuna kure, urojo vile umejikazia wewe so umejifungia so, yeah, those are the kind of things that they keep on telling you you know, and that will just it's negativity, you know but when you are people who are like minded like we have a group like uh, you know young fathers and we, we where we come and you just talk and you know we discuss stuff and uh, we network because father would also as for you to become a provider you need to ne network with mm. people who are like minded who are seeing that father flani mm. and Aumia, how can we support them do and practical support watch are easy with the osg let us see via course ni uko na job kama iko ama iko <laughs> na call mtu sa hizo oh. kuna jama fulani mnyanaumia because we know the pain of being a father mm -hmm. and you are able you, if you especially if you are able to uh, to provide you know just demoralize someone mm. so when you have a network of dads who who are like minded and want the best for you they can network in terms of business kama kuna hustle yako fulani wana ku promote you know like the reason why actually i started this this these t-shirts mm -hmm. is so that uh, the money that people people who buy this t-shirt, mm -hmm. that money supports dads, especially during this time of COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, it's tough. You know, <laughs> all the children at home and they're eating all the time. All absolutely, the time. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Mm. So support system. Get around people who are like-minded. People who think the way you think. People who will bring positivity to you, and not people who just you know what I could demoralize to and uh, get you off the path. You know. <laughs> So that 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 will be my my you know my my advice. Yani yani e town e town to e moja e kuna boys club na kuna fathers club. Yes. Na code tu ni moja tu five four. Okay. <laughs> but that's not my business. My business is present fatherhood. All right. Ha. Mm. 
there's this, it's not really a meme, but it's like a picture. It, it's in three parts, basically. One side, ni baba na mtoto. Very short story. So in the first one, baba ndole anapigia mtoto kelele. Na ni kadogo kame muangalia tu, like, why are you shouting at me? Yeah. Eh, alafu next, baba megro, mtoto wa megro, sasa ni katin. Sasa wote wanabishana, sasa kila mtu wapu wakona makasiriko. Yeah. I have the final one, baba kasha zeka, you know. Yeah. But umto isi ya kona nguvu, badu yeah. wako prime prime. So yeah. yendi wana leta makasiriko, baba yeah. kia kumbu. Yeah. Why are you shouting? Yes, why yes. are you shouting? Yes. For these young men who are about to be fathers or who have the capacity to be fathers now, yes. do you think it's, it's a good idea to maybe, if they can, if it's applicable, to go back to their own dads to try and see if they can mend things? Because are full stop in life. Are we together? And I'm not going to take back what I've just said. Are we together? Hmm. Help me advise them. There is always room for re reconciliation. And whether we like it or not, there are things that we go through in our childhood or with our fathers that have an effect later on when, when we are becoming parents. And uh, if there is that opportunity to reconcile, you know, uh, take it. You know, go to your dad and just have that conversation. You also saw Unajua, you're saying be humble. Na mwanaume nataka kukumbuka ye ni mwanaume. Mm. Yes, yes. You know, the, 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 there's, uh, there's strength in being humble. Actually, uh, humility is what is strength, mm -hmm. you know. Like, um, like it, takes, it takes strength to love. For example, to conf confess your love to someone, it takes strength. But there are people who see it as, as, as weakness. So they rather that's what we're too much. You know, and they think that is what is strength. Mm -hmm. But strength is when you are able to come down and just confess that love to you. You know, because it means that you're facing a lot of stuff that people are afraid of. Rejection, you know, you don't know what, how these people are going to take it. And those are the things that people are afraid of. So who, how when you are afraid of? Do you call that strength? Mm -hmm. It is not strength. It is a person who is able to overcome that fear of rejection and all those things that are unknown mm -hmm. and co they finally confess the, you know, their feelings, mm -hmm. that is strength. You know, okay. Is strength. Yeah. strength. Not see of a woman, just strength. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag is why in the morning. Okay, my final question, I think. Yes. So, and I'll, if it's okay, if I can use both of us as an example, to a China boy child, my God, I do conjure. You told me your parents passed away when you were 12 years old. Yes. My father passed away around three years ago. Very yes, sorry. And, and, oh, thank you, it's okay. So, for me, Nabatheangu ni June, around June, June. So, for the past three years, it's been very hard for me to remember Nabatheangu, me and Afkiranga to Father's Day. And I don't know what your experience was growing up, and every Father's Day, Ukotu Apo too. Hmm? How, how, how can we console someone who possibly, number one, has, does not have a very healthy relationship with their dad and it's Father's Day? Mwenye babake, Mare Musai, and it's Father's Day. Or maybe just someone who has kids and does not know how to respond to Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's amazing because um, when my folks passed on, I don't know what I did. I, I, I just went and blocked every memory. I just blocked everything and it's like they ceased to exist. And for a long time, for over those so many years. So, and as you're saying, Ilukuna Pata, Ikifika Mother's Day, you know, Father's Day, and people are posting their dads, mm -hmm. you know, to, happy okay. dad, you know, I'm proud about my dad, mm -hmm. oh, my mom, Nini. Those are the times that. I would be flooded with emotions, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, uh, reality will check in that actually I don't have parents, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that will make me even shut, shut the memories even more, but I don't want to remember that part. But recently there's, there's something that I started on my Instagram, I started, uh, I started um, memories of my folks, remembering my parents, mm -hmm. and, you know, just being vulnerable completely, you know, and, and just trying to, every day I try and rem get a memory. You know, whether it was, it was good or bad, what I just remember about them. And it's been amazing, you know, the things that I've been, I've been able to remember from my childhood has just been amazing. And that is something that I would urge anybody, like you're saying, that is out there that is be dealing with those stuff. Instead of blocking, 
and saying that my dad maybe ran away or my dad is not there and therefore I don't want to anything to do with them, try and remember those memories. It makes you, it gives you that identity. Rather than trying to, to you know, block them and bury them, it will not help. The best thing is bring them out. I was, I was amazed actually the second day that I was doing that, 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 uh, that thing, uh, emotions came and for the first time I cried about my father's death. When, when my dad died, I never cried. Really? I never. Because, because uh, my mother passed on this year, the next following year my dad passed on. You know? And I, I think I was like, 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 I was Wakazika story kaisha ivo. And I never really cried. Mm -hmm. So remembering that, actually, I found myself crying, you know. And it's just been an amazing journey. It's still something that I'm still doing. Even today I'm supposed to update a memory. I'm still going through, okay, what am I going to remember today? I still don't know. But once I start writing, I think something will come. So that is what I will tell them, you know, to build that relationship. How do you feel when your children wish you a happy Father's Day? When my children wish me for Happy Father's Day. Hey, I told you I I can't wait. I can't wait. I wonder what they'll. Um, you know, I want them to be to feel proud. You know, it's equal to when I wish Father's Day because it's Father's Day and I'm their father. Mm -hmm. You know, there's that type. So I'm on a TV, what you want to say, my Father's Day. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I want them to feel very like, like uh, yes, they will be treating they'll be treating every day as Father's Day, but when this day will be the climax for them. Like I will not even be knowing what they what to expect. Awanyaya tu ana jipanga tu ana juatu with watafa watafanya. And also, I want it to be our day. Because even them, they're already fathers. Aww. Yeah, fathers, even though they still don't have physical people, but they're already fathers. It starts at that point. Mm -hmm. That is when fatherhood is, is nurtured. Mm. You know, so it's a good day to spend, to bond, to come out, to end a movie, to happy. You know? Fathers who fungue shule, I'm going to school fees. I will bring boy children to your school. If that's how you're talking. I do homeschooling, by the way. Really? Yes, I do homeschooling. <laughs> okay, as, as the interview winds up, I'd like you to give us uh, your social media handles, how we can find you, how we can support you if you need support, and any other things that you can offer that the viewer would like to Well, um, mm -hmm. my social media handles are Present Fatherhood on, on YouTube, uh, Present Fatherhood on Instagram, Present Fatherhood on Facebook. And... Um, and uh, they can support by buying a t-shirt at 800 bob mm -hmm. and of course some other proceeds goes towards uh, supporting a father I've, I've i've gone through tough time actually there was a story of my story our story uh, that was published on the one of the dailies and uh, i know the how the journey has been it's been it's been tough mm -hmm. being a father and providing and make sure that your child is fed is a difficult thing and uh, you know, that is why I decided to do that. You know, I decided to support other fathers. You know, Pigiwa Simu, you know, hey, Niko Chini, I know what it means. So that's why I decided let this proceeds go to them. You know, so that is another way that you can, you can support. And actually today, I don't know whether there's a dad in, on set. I came with a gift for a dad, a t-shirt gift for a dad. At wezi kosa baba ya mutu hapa. At wezi. Kaisu sit down. Jaza. When you... Hashtag is why though. Yeah, so yeah. So they can, they can find me on social media. Mm -hmm. And there will be a giveaway also t-shirt for them. For, for the fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can they can go there and they will find they will know how to get it. Okay. But for today, there is a shirt for a dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So in conclusion, I, I would like you to just address the nation as you see fit, mm -hmm. and then I'll wrap it up, and then we can continue with the sauce that is why in the morning. Address the final words. Yeah, my final word is that um, as a father, you are the you are the engine of the home, and uh, as 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 uh, faith. Is, a, is an important thing. Whether you're a Muslim, you're a Hindu, faith is an important stuff. And fatherhood is, transcends gender, transcends uh, race, social status. It's something that is global, you know. So just embrace it. 
I know that fatherhood is not just, being present is not just about provision. You know, it, it is a lot of stuff. Provision is just one of them. So let, let not that define you as a father. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. So apo kuna kitu ya kuongeza, guys. Except for happy Father's Day in advance. Absolutely. Yes. Happy Father's Day. Happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to everybody mm -hmm. out there. Jasiri, Jasiri and Jordan, if you're watching, I love you guys. Aww. You know. And they have cool names. That is Jasiri and Jordan. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm well, sorry. Kaya, so you want to be acknowledged as a father. All right. Happy, happy Father's uh, Day. Happy Father's Kaya. Day to my father-in-law. <laughs> He's been my mentor and my friend. <laughs> Wet lax, case to happen. Continue. Uh, happy mm -hmm. Father's Day to, to Godwin Felix, to George Wayne, you know, to Hilary Adala, to Marvin Gakuni. Those are, those are uh, fathers that are, are on my circle and have supported me and we've supported one another. Mbogia Kimonyoski. Yes, those right, are even the Mbogi Yangu. And if your dad is in heaven like ours, it's okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah, Absolutely. you can still think Happy Father's Day thoughts like we have been told. Are we together? Mm. Yes. And you will remember me as the presenter who never wore shoes. Mm. And I'm not sorry. I've gone back to my ancestors, my roots. Twitter five on Facebook at white five four channel on Twitter. Hashtag is white in the morning. My name is Valentine. Please don't go away. We still have some more for you. Yay. <laughs>